Dear friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to connect a push button to our Arduino project. Let's start. The push button is a component that connects two points in a circuit when you press it. So, in this example, if I press the button, our Arduino program lights up the LED. If the button is unpressed, the LED is not lit. Of course, you can program Arduino to perform any action when the button is pressed. Let's now see how to connect a push button to any Arduino project. The push button has four legs. If the button is pressed, all the legs are connected together. If the button is unpressed, the top two legs are connected together and the bottom two legs are connected together. So, be careful in order to connect it correctly. If you don't know which legs are connected together, you can use a multimeter. In order to check which legs of the push button are connected together when it is not pressed, put your multimeter in resistance mode and measure the resistance between the legs of the push button. If you measure some resistance, those legs are connected together. If not, they are not connected. We put the push button across the gap in the middle of the breadboard. We then connect a pull-down resistor from one of the pins down to ground. So, if the button is not pressed, its value is pulled down to ground. We connect the other pin of the push button to the breadboard VCC. We connect the breadboard ground to Arduino ground and the breadboard VCC to Arduino 5 volts and now we are ready to connect the signal. Next, we connect the signal from this point here, after the first leg of the resistor, to digital pin 2. Next, we connect the LED. The positive leg goes to digital pin 13 and the negative to ground. So, we are now ready to power on the project and see if our button is working. Now, each time I press the button, the LED lights up. Now, let's go to the computer and see the software side of the project. The code of the project is simply an example of the Arduino IDE. We go to Examples, Digital, Button and we load the example. We upload it to the Arduino board we use and we are ready to test our button. The program all it does is to check the status of the push button. If the button is pressed, it turns on the LED, else it turns off the LED. So, hooking up a push button to any Arduino project is very easy. We are going to use buttons very often in our future projects now that we know how they work. So, stay tuned. So far, we have not addressed the most common problem of push buttons and mechanical switches in general, which is bouncing. We will take a detailed look at this problem in a future video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please consider pressing the like button or subscribe to our channel in order to watch our future videos. Thank you very much and see you next week.